Well, hello there. And welcome to Strawberry Land. <laughs> I'm glad you decided to drop by, because today is a very special day for Strawberry Shortcake. You see, today Strawberry Shortcake moves out of her old house, and all of her friends have been busy helping her get ready for the move to her new house. <laughs> Even their pets are helping. Everybody's ready. I'm going to show you sides of my trip around the world and all the wonderful friends I made in all the different countries. Okay, Custard. Light. <laughs> Camera. Action. Oh! <laughs> I first visited Mexicoco, where I met Cafe Ole and her pet burro burrito. Cafe Ole taught me to do the Mexicoco hat dance. This is who I met in China Cup, my good friends Almond Tea and Marzi Panda. Oh, I wish I could have stayed with them a little longer. Oh, and this is Mint Tulip and her pet duck, Marsh Mallard. Hollandaise was so much fun. That's where they make Dutch chocolate, you know. This is my good friend Crepe Suzette and her French poodle, Eclair. <laughs> Settle down, Popcake. And last, but certainly not least, the English twins, Lamb and Ada, in Pickle Billy Circus. It was so hard to tell them apart without the help of their pet, Sugar Woofer. They were all such wonderful friends. I wish I could see them again. Well, Strawberry, now that you're moving into a big new house, you'll have room for them all to visit. Oh, you're right, Blueberry. My new house is big enough for all my friends. And right now, our job is to get you moved into your new house. Right, Pupcake? <laughs> oh, Pupcake, you'll never move this box with me on it. Pack them up and move them out. It's time to move to your brand new house. You've had your fun right here, but now it's time to pack your gear. Everybody's got to go somewhere sometime. This time you're the one. So pack up all your stuff and put it in a truck, and we'll have this moving done. Pack them up and move them out. It's time to move to your brand new house. Pack them up and move them out. Pack them up and move them out. Pack them up and move them out. When you move to your brand new house. It looks like Strawberry Shortcake made some great friends on her trip. And I'm sure she told them all about Strawberry Land and how each day here is as pleasant and nice as the next. <laughs> but then there's some people that try to spoil every good day. And I mean those two double-dealing desperados, sour grapes and the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Our grapes. You have arrived just in time to witness the commencement of my maniacal master plan. <laughs> master plan? Why, you don't intend to try to top my villainy, do you, You Kirby? bet your fang-tooth back scratcher I do. There, there, dregs. My master plan will allow me to spoil strawberry shortcake's fun forever. <laughs> oh, come now, Kirby. Surely you're overestimating yourself, as usual. Oh, yeah? Well, stick. 
back around and take a peek. My plan is perfection. So sinister, so sleek. For I am the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Rata ta 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 Yeah. Oh boy, you sure don't know how much stuff you've collected until you have to move it. You don't have to tell me, Strawberry. Custard and I'll go on ahead and have everything ready. Bye. See you at my new house. I wish there was some way for us to meet Strawberry's wonderful new friends. They seem so very nice. Uh, have a party! Yeah, a surprise party. Great idea, Lime Chiffon. A surprise housewarming party for Strawberry Shortcake. And we'll invite all her new friends to come and visit. We can all bring her a housewarming present. And I know just the gift. We can ask all we can ask all our friends to bring along their favorite recipes so that Strawberry Shortcake will have all the best recipes in Strawberry Land. Ah, uh -huh. my plan works. Teaching these stupid berry birds to talk was the most painful ordeal of my entire life. But it was well worth it. Uh -huh. But it was well worth it. They must be incredibly stupid birds if they repeat anything you say. Anything you say? Ew! Aha! Uh -huh. Anything anyone says, they repeat. I've taught them to eavesdrop, remember, then speak. For I'm the peculiar purple pie man, I a porcupine peak. Pie 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 shoo, shoo, shoo! Ah. Ah. stupid birds. <laughs> and don't come back until you've got more information. <laughs> so you see, sour grapes, my berry birds will tell me everything I need to know to spoil strawberry shortcake's fun. <laughs> and as always, Perpy, I have a much more insidious idea. If we had all the best recipes in Strawberry Land, we could put them together and have the world's greatest cookbook. What a despicable idea, Sour Grips. I'll steal all Strawberry Shortcake's recipes, and that will really spoil her party. <laughs> what a horrendous noise. Oh, don't you just love our new home custard? Meow. It's so very nice and so very big. You be careful that you don't go getting lost on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> it was so much fun visiting other lands, but there's no place like home. Right, custard? Meow. <laughs> What custard? I wish that all our new friends could visit Strawberry Land and meet all my old friends, don't you? Oh, custard, our very first visitor. I wonder who it could be. Hello, Lime Chiffon. Won't you come Miss in? Miss Strawberry Shortcake, may I present your friends from around the world? Ta da! Happy housewarming! My new friends? They're here? Now, little mint tulip made a Dutch apple pie, and she brought it along for everyone to try. Grape Suzette and her puppy Eclair brought a chocolate mousse for everyone to share. A chocolate mousse for everyone to share. Now, here's some sweet moon cakes made specially by Marza Panda and Almond Tea. There's a caramel flan made the Mexican way by Sweet Burrito and Cafe Olay. Nothing warms a house like a recipe. You got to write it all out so carefully. Cause a recipe is like a magical friend. When you eat up the goodies, you can make them again. It's so good to see you all again. But, but where's Lemon Ada? You did come, and you brought Sugar Wolf for along. I hope the recipe box is big enough. Oh, it's beautiful. Ah, the recipe box, eh? <laughs> oh. 
Sugar Wolf for help. Pick it up. Oh, thank you all. Oh. All the kids wanted a tour of Strawberry's new house, so Huckleberry Pie suggested they play a game of hide-and-seek. That way they could all see the house and have lots of fun doing it. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like trouble. It's more like hide-and-sneak. They hide while I sneak. <laughs> Because I'm so rotten, I know just what to do. I'll gobble up their goodies and steal all the recipes, too. <laughs> well, we've searched the whole house, Custard, and haven't found anyone. This is the last place to look, the kitchen. Mm, kitchen? Where can I hide? Aha! from there. Hmm. That sure looks like a funny cake. Foiled by a furry feline. You can't fool me. <laughs> One, two, three, I'm a peculiar... <gasps> the peculiar purple pie man! Rats! <gasps> the peculiar purple pie man! A porcupine peak! rat a ta 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 Oh! <laughs> Stop him! He's stealing all the recipes! <laughs> well, he won't get far! Filbert Wormley III, at your service, miss. Quick, Filbert, follow that cad! Hold on tightly, miss. Come on, Filbert, we'll take the strawberry shortcut. Catch me if you can! <laughs> <laughs> what say, Lem? Do you think we're in trouble? I don't think anything of the kind, Ada. Oh, no, we're in trouble. Oh, no. That evil pie man has kidnapped the twins. Strawberry, hey down there. Sorry, Mr. Sun. This is terrible. I'll never be able to tell her about the twins with this cloud under me. Good work, Silbert. We beat the pie man to the drawbridge. Oh, no. She'll very talk me for sure. Oh, look, Dregs. A giant worm. Maybe we should take him fishing. He'd make lovely whale bait. Yikes. <laughs> The worm has turned! <laughs> I did it, sour grapes! The recipes are mine! I did it! The recipes are mine! The recipes are mine! We both did it. Hmm, so to speak. And the recipes are ours. Mm -hmm. Ours to keep. Because we're the peculiar purple, purple partners of Porcupine Peak. Yeah! There's two of them, Lem. What will we do? Not much we can do, Ada. Stiff up a lip till help comes. What? I'm so sorry. I've spoiled all your fun and lost all your recipes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Don't be sad, Custard. Don't be sad. 
be sad, Custard. Hey, who is that? Hey, who is that? Look, it's Captain Cackle. He's it's talking. It's Captain Cackle. He's talking. He's repeating everything we say. He's repeating everything we say. Hmm, I wonder. That's it. The fairy birds will get our recipes back for us. Get our recipes back for us. But how, Strawberry? How, Strawberry? Just watch. When you want to say fairy, just say fairy instead. You can learn to talk fairy. You can keep it in your head. If you want to talk fairy, if you want to talk fairy, it's as easy as pie. It's as easy as pie. Say a fairy instead of fairy. Say a fairy instead of fairy. You can do it if you try. You can do it if you try. Now it's fairy, fairy this, and it's fairy, fairy that. Are you fairy, fairy silly? Are you fairy, fairy that? Is it fairy, fairy silly that we're teaching it to you? Getting very good at fairy talk is when we've gone too far. If you want to talk fairy, if you want to talk fairy, it's as easy as pie. It's as easy as pie. Say a fairy instead of fairy. Say a fairy instead of fairy. You can do it if you try. We can do it if we try. Now it's fairy fairy this, then it's fairy fairy that. Are you fairy fairy silly? Are you fairy fairy that? Is it fairy fairy funny that we're teaching this to you? Getting fairy good at fairy talk is what we've got to do. Strawberry Land's best recipes are all mine. With the world's greatest cookbook, I'll be famous. I can see it now. Sour grapes on the Murph Muffin Show. Then Holly. Aren't you forgetting someone? Of course not, Perpy. I could never forget my purple partner in crime. My warm, wonderfully wicked, nasty but charming. Pet snake dregs. What? That slimy reptilian wraparound? Ah, yes. My very bad. And what words from Strawberry Shortcake do you bring to me now, my eavesdropping little tattletales? Thumberry, 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 thumberry. Very talk. I can't stand very talk. That smart little strawberry shortcake has outsmarted me again. She's taught my very birds very talk. They'll drive me mad with it. Unless. Give me those recipes. I must give them back. Strawberry, please. Call off these backstabbing berry birds, and I'll give you back your recipes. You muffin-minded fruitcake. Bring back those. Oh, oh. This spoon can't hold us both. Enough's enough. Mm. Hey, down there, you've got to get that recipe box. We can't, Mr. Sun. Nobody can reach it. But you have to. Laminate her up there. Whoa! What? Kids in the box? Well, this is it, old chum. We're stuck right proper. They'll never be able to get us down. Or up. We'll never see Sugar Wolf again. Oh, no! Laminator! Well, that evil purple pie man really did it this time. Why, Perpy? I'm impressed. Yes, this is indeed the most villainous crime in my... Uh-oh. Oh, no! Here 
comes another merry bombardment. We have to help them. What? Nothing doing. I'm deathly afraid of heights. Tough crusts, kiddo. And you, come here. Mon Dieu! What can we do, Strawberry? There's only one chance. Okay, Filbert, a lot will depend on you, but everyone has to help. Oh, hurry up, you overweight crouton! I can't hang around like this much longer! You! Oh, oh, what about me? I can't stand snakes! That's perfect, Filbert! Okay, everybody, up we go! Stretch, you supercilious serpent! Oh, 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 And you, you stupid birds, do something! It's no use. I can't reach them. Oh, dear me. Cool, lolly me. Oh, I did it! Aha! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> okay, everyone. Back to my house to finish our party. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, what a day. I'm not used to all this excitement. You folks have fun at Strawberry's party. I'm <sighs> turning in. <sighs> a place to do those things than here in Strawberry Land. <laughs> it sounds like strawberry shortcakes making quite a splash. Sure. 
Tommy. I'm so glad you could all drop over for a swim. Thank you for inviting us, Strawberry. she met on her travels. Wait till everyone hears about that. I know. Maple Stirrup's waiting outside to take us to the Big Berry Trolley, and we can tell everyone on our way to meet Plum Puddin'. Come on, let's go. Strawberry Land is real excited about going camping. <laughs> I hope nothing spoils it for them. Things have been extra nice around here lately. Nobody's seen that crusty old crumb, the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. Open up. It's me, Sour Grapes. How do I know it's really you? Yes, <laughs> it is Sour Grapes. Quick, inside. <laughs> What's the matter, Burpee? Did you think I was Strawberry Shortcake coming to... Barry talk you up! Herbie? Herbie? Why, uh... Now, just what are you hiding from? Change your tune if you saw what I saw. Show me, Perpy. It will be my treat to show you this monster of which I speak, for I am the peculiar purple pie man of Porcupine Peak. <laughs> to 
strangers or anything. She loves everyone. Do you like camping, little baby? I love camping. What is it? <laughs> You'll soon find out. Come on, Elderberry. Let's go home and unpack. We'll see you all later. Goodbye. Bye. The creature that made this print must be at least 10 feet tall and weigh over 400 pounds. <laughs> this is our secret, Elderberry. We'll come back and do some scientific investigation tomorrow. So, for once in your life, you were right. There is a monster. Hear that, Perpy? Perpy? Hear us. There's only one thing to be done about this monster. Yes, sour grapes. Run before it catches us! Quite the contrary, my chicken livered batter beater. We are going to catch it! Oh, ridiculous! I only thought that you might be interested in becoming rich and famous. <laughs> and famous will exhibit the monster all across the country people will pay a fortune to see a real live monster you are starting to appeal to my greedy nature i'll build a trap to catch that monster if it takes me all week for I am the peculiar purple pie man of porcupine peak rat -ta 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 -ta. Rat -ta -ta. Yeah. You tell us one of your ghost stories. Yeah. Come on, Strawberry. A real scary one. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't want to scare the little baby. Oh, I like stories. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You asked for it. There's a time they seem to remember when all the ghosts come out to play. All the goblins gather together and have a very scary holiday. Oh, 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 one scene. Just about midnight, all the ghosts from miles around try their worst to scare little children. Listen close and you can hear their hunting sound. What was that? I think they're here. You never can tell when a ghost is near. Watch your step or you'll disappear. <laughs> then the ghosts start searching for someone who they can spook and steal away. They'll tie you up with cobwebs and shadows and take you on their very scary holiday. Tiptoe, stick out of sight. The moon is full, the time is right. The ghosts are looking for you tonight. so scary after all. <laughs> no, you're funny. <laughs> oh, look, the first star tonight, the wishing star. Make a wish, little one. I wish that I had a name and a pet, just like all my friends in Strawberry Land. Gosh, I don't think there are any spare pets in Strawberry Land. That's all right. A wish can always come true.
another beautiful morning in Strawberry Land. <laughs> well, it looks like everyone stayed up just a little too late last night. We'll find her. You are looking at a pure genius, Sour Grapes. What makes you think your contraptions will catch the monster? Just wait and see, Sour Grapes. Ooh! What about bait? Your snake! Your berry bird! Ah! My pie! Your pies? Yeah. Hmm. You're right. How big did you say this monster is? Fifteen feet tall, at least. I thought it was more like twenty feet. <laughs> Thirty feet if it's an inch. He's big and bad and ugly. Stands fifty stories high. A magnificent monstrosity. We'll, we'll nab him by and by. He's grosser than Godzilla. What's inside? Oh, every pound of scaly flesh will make a profit's rise. Let's see, five thousand pounds at a thousand dollars a pound. Oh, Perky will be rich. For lunch, he gobbles cities. For snacks, he munches cars. Oh, we will be so famous when we put him behind bars. We'll be on the TV. For all the world to see. Mm -hmm. Oh, how rich we'll be. story if I ever heard one. I like stories. Hooray! <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. I was trapped in that big hole. Why, how did you ever get out? Big Boots. Big Boots? <laughs> big Boots. Monster! 
it's not one footprint. It's both feet and his tail. He's really shy. All he wants is someone to love him. I want to keep him. Nothing doing. He's coming with us. <laughs> The monster is ours! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's take our catch to your place and plan our next move. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't you worry, little baby. We'll get Big Boot back. Somehow. Well, as it turned out, that monster isn't a monster at all. But that's not going to stop that villainous duo from putting poor little Fig Boot in the circus. A monster! He couldn't even scare a peanut out of its shell! Come now, how about a nice, big, blood-curdling growl for sour grapes? Hmm. <gasps> oh, not like that! I give up. What now? Well, Perpy, we either take him as he is or we put you in the cage. I think we had better get this show on the road. There must be a way out of here. Of course there is. A scientific way. There's our answer. How is that one little plant going to help us get out of this cage, Plum Puddin? With the help of our friend, Mr. Sun. We'll need a little light. Hey, Mr. Sun! We're down here in the woods! Do you think you could give us a little more light down here? I can certainly try. these holes being here. Well, don't just stand there. Get us out of here. There's something vaguely familiar about these holes. That's it. They resemble. Yeah. Giant footprints. Kirby, what do you say? We drop off this pint-sized pygmy and go for the big one. Catch it yourself! I'm taking this one to the circus! Talking about 
juiciness. They're mighty hard to resist. <laughs> You're just in time. Strawberry Shortcake and all her friends are getting ready for their first annual garden party. A celebration of the most fragrantly delicious berries in the whole world. One and two. And one and two. And one now and two. Decorations. Tablecloths. Fruit punch. <laughs> Thank you, Plum Puddin. Mm -hmm. Everything looks so very pretty. Our garden party is going to be the best party ever. Just one more very important thing to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one, two, one, Everybody, two, one, I'd like you to meet my new friend, two, three, Banana Twirl. Pleased to meet you all. Thank you for inviting me to your garden party, Strawberry. <laughs> Where do you get all your energy from? I guess I treat everything I do like an exercise. Does that include berry hunting? Berry hunting? That's right. As soon as each of us finds the very best fruit or berry in all of Strawberry Land for our place of honor, we can begin our garden party. Hey, let's go! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now remember, everybody, only the very best. Now it's the very, very best that we're looking for We want the very, very best and here's what for We're gonna have us a party, it's just for you And, and nothing, nothing but, but the very, very, very best will do You want the perfect orange and the perfect lime You want the perfect berry with the perfect shine You want the perfect peach with the perfect fuzz It's the, the very, very, very best that was. Now it's got to taste great, it's got to smell divine You got to choose those goodies just one at a time You got to scrutinize, you got to pick them by hand Just the very, very best in berry land The very, very best in berry land The very, very best in berry land
Well, now that all the very best berries had been collected, everything was ready for the garden party. Well, that is almost everything. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Miss Strawberry Shortcake. Berrykins are my helpers. Each one has a special scent all their own. Blue berrykin dusts a blueberry scent. The smell of ripe plums plum berrykin gives scent. To lemons, lemon berrykin adds scented touch tart, and raspberry kin's aroma is true to the art. Sweet and fresh, that's orange berrykin's fair. Limes without lime berrykin would seem a bit bare. Banana berrykin's banana fragrance is very unique. Peach berrykin scent is really a treat. And strawberry kin's aroma is the sweetest of sweet. Berrykin's dust to make sure everything's laced, for the more fragrant the scent, the better the taste. Yeah. 
yogurt curdling yodel? Then stop complaining. But pizza with chocolate frosting? Yes. Don't worry about it, Burby. Once we mix all these wonderful smells in your scent distillery, we'll be rich and famous. <laughs> yeah. We'll never succeed in creating the world's most wonderful perfume. We're only adding to a potpourri of putrid failures. Hmm. Berry Bird, go out and get three double cheeseburgers. Heavy on the caramel sauce. Oh, I wonder if it's safe to release all these ghastly smelling gases outside. What possible damage could a few little whiffs of this vile vapor do? Don't you just love the smell of fresh strawberries after the rain? Ugh! It smells like pizza! Double pepperoni! And this one smells like popcorn! <laughs> Pretzels! Chocolate! Something is rotten in strawberry land. The rain changed all the scents. The rain? But how? I'm not sure. In the meantime, the Berrykins can make everything smell sweeter than ever. Then they'd better hurry. At the rate that cloud is expanding, I calculate that we only have one hour before it bursts wide open. Then Strawberry Land will be soaked in all those awful smells. see that strange cloud coming. In less than an hour, it'll rain horrible smells all over Strawberry Land. I hope the Berry Princess and her Berrykins can help Strawberry before it's too late. Berry Princess, over here, quack! Oh, now it looks like they've got another problem. Elderberry Owl, what are you doing? The flowers smell like marshmallows. Elderberry Owl doesn't know that she's really eating flowers. <laughs> I don't think your pet cares for the real taste of cherry blossoms. <laughs> Custard? <laughs> These lemons smell like catnip. A little sour custard? Your pets don't understand any of this, Strawberry, and we're running out of time. Well, I'll just have to give them a quick lesson. Pets, run down center! Sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. Sometimes things can fool your nose or your eyes, you see? Something smells so sweet, but it might not be right to eat. Sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. 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 You might think that this was that, <laughs> but that was this, you see. You might think that these were those, taking signals from your nose. Sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. Sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. It's just a messed up world sometimes. But here's what you can do. You might have to look close. You might have to step back to make sure it's right for you. Sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. Sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. No, sometimes things aren't what they seem to be. <laughs> Okay, Berrykins, it's time to do your stuff. Be quick, be sure, and be careful out there. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to help, Berry Princess. Okay, Banana Twirl, keep an eye on the Berrykins. Yay! Now let's find out where that cloud is coming from. Yeah. <laughs> 
one stinky birdie. <laughs> we should do him a flavor and Baron does him. Let's make him raspberry. <laughs> lime, lime, lime. No, no. <laughs> Orange, of course. <laughs> Banana. Let's scent him with all of them. <gasps> Fruit salad. <laughs> <laughs> Chase the berry bird away. He's coming back. Berrykins, run! He's taken them to Porcupine Peak. What are we going to do? I give up. Your world's most wonderful perfume is a roaring failure. A little less peppermint and a little more chicken gravy. Over my dead nostrils. <laughs> oh, don't bust your crusts and answer your window. Someone's at the window. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake? Hmm. News of failure travels fast. And, uh, who is this? I should have known that Cloud had something to do with you. Cloud? What Cloud? In about 15 minutes, that Cloud is going to rain your stinky smells over everything in Strawberry Land. How romantic. Oh, surely a man of your intelligence can see the adverse effect this rain would have on the environment. I'm on the verge of a discovery that will make my fame and fortune. But I would gladly put all of that aside for the sake of Strawberry Land. Now that will give us more time to deal with the problem. Thank you for your help, Mr. Mud Pie. Uh, 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 that's a pie, man. Hmm. You pathetic purple pea brain. Oh. Oh. Egan, what have we here? What's all oh, for you, hey, princess? The berry bird burying up the berrykins. <gasps> what? You just missed him. He took them up to Porcupine Peak. Smell. You see, sour grapes, because of my berry bird, we can finally create the world's most wonderful perfume. <coughs> the dust from these little berry creatures will make the most irresistible perfume. I'll make a fortune. But what about me? I'd prefer you to be my silent partner. Now, pedal! Hello! Oh, Mr. Pie Man! The very princess! I'm irresistible! Don't move one minuscule muscle! I'll handle this! His light's on, but nobody's home. You have my barricans, and I want them back. You get them back as soon as we shake them scentless. Ow! <laughs> We've got a plan, Berry Princess, but there's no time to explain. I'm ready for anything, Strawberry. Good, but we've got to work fast. They better. <laughs> This cloud's going to burst in five minutes. I'll do what I can about that storm cloud. Leave the berrykins to us. Good luck. Okay, strawberrykins, let's go! This is going to be fun!
Pitfall Plug! <laughs> Good work, Strawberry Kim. <gasps> oh, this is awful. Because of you, sour grapes, I now smell like lasagna pudding. And because of your bungling, I reek of lobster cupcakes! She's only got 15 seconds before the cloud bursts. There she is! Strawberry Land was back to smelling sweeter than ever. And Strawberry's garden party was the best party yet. Strawberry, I really must be going, and I'd like you and your friends to watch over the little berrykins for me. Oh, we will, Berry Princess, we will! Then goodbye, Strawberry Shortcake, for now. Goodbye, Berry Princess, and we'll take very good care of the little berrykins. Thank you, Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs>